So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology and welcome to the Galaxy S8 Plus versus every iPhone finger comparison test. Now obviously I don't have every single iPhone here, but I do have one iPhone from each generation of fingerprint scanner. So here is an iPhone 5S, here is an iPhone 6 which came after, both utilize first gen touch ID. Following that came the 6S series right here. This is the 6S Plus specifically, the first iPhone to introduce second generation Touch ID. Then Apple brought the iPhone SE, which kept the first generation Touch ID scanner. And of course, I do have the 7 Plus, which we already, already compared to the Galaxy S8 Plus in a speed test. And it was quite surprising how well the 7 Plus did here. But for those of you out there who are going to be leaving Apple for the first time to try out Samsung's new beautiful Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. In this video, I want to help show you guys what kind of fingerprint speed you're going to get on the Galaxy S8 Plus. So before we get into the actual test of this fingerprint, the Galaxy S8 has been very controversial in terms of the placement of its fingerprint scanner here. Now a lot of people say that the camera, it's very easy to touch the camera and accidentally rub your finger over it, making for a smudge, potentially distorting your pictures. But to me, this is just another media hype. Once you get used to it, muscle memory, you're gonna know right where that fingerprint scanner is every time and it works pretty flawlessly. It's a very good fingerprint scanner. It just takes a minute to get it registered up here on the right side. Now, if you're a left-hand user of the Samsung Galaxy phone, it's gonna be a lot easier to reach this fingerprint scanner because it kind of rests right where your finger would be. Now, it doesn't work every time. I just had a mistap there for the uh, Galaxy S8 Plus, but the Galaxy S8 should be easier to reach that fingerprint scanner even more say than the S8 Plus here. So I just had another mistap there, but it's not 100% accurate, but let's see how it performs next to all these iPhones. You're coming from an iPhone 5S. Let's find out how the fingerprint scanner speed is on the iPhone 5S versus the Galaxy S8 Plus. So three, two, and one here. And you've seen the 5S1, but that's because I mistapped. But you know what? That's a real world scenario. You can mistap on the Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's try that again. One more time. And let's see what happens here. There you go. So the S8 Plus, if you do get your finger on there, it is definitely quicker than the iPhone 5S. The only reason the 5S won that first time was because I mistapped the fingerprint scanner for the S8. So well ahead of the 5S in terms of speed on the fingerprint scanner. So, you know, this test is probably gonna be the same for the iPhone 6 as it is Touch ID first gen. Let's just see how it performs anyway. And you could see way ahead of the iPhone 6 as well. So if you're coming from an iPhone 6 to the Galaxy S8 series, your fingerprint scanner increases a lot here for iPhone 6 versus Galaxy S8. And this would hold true, and you see I had a couple of mismatches there for the S8 Plus. So I do think Touch ID might still be one of the more reliable fingerprint scanners on the market, as you've seen right there. Galaxy S8 is not even registering it there. You've seen there was a little hiccup there. So sometimes the Galaxy S8 is off. So overall, the Galaxy S8 is probably a quicker fingerprint scanner, but Touch ID is a little bit more reliable in my experience. All right, you guys coming from an iPhone SE, going up to an S8 Plus, or maybe I got an SE and you're picking up an S8 Plus as your Android's phone on the side or your main Android phone and the SE you're gonna keep as a backup. Let's see how the fingerprint difference is on these phones. Once again, I missed it there on the S8 Plus. So you know what? I, I want to include this in the review. And the reason I want to keep this in here is because this shows how difficult it might be sometimes to reach that fingerprint scanner that you're going to be mistapping it. I mean, I know it would be a little bit more accurate if I would get it right every time. But the fact of the matter is, this is indicating a real world use. You can see I missed it two times there. And that's probably because of the placement. You have to reach your finger all the way up here across the screen. So like I say, if you're a left-hand user, the Galaxy S8 Plus is gonna be a better smartphone for the fingerprint scanner. But you've seen right there, it went in fast. And let's do this one more time for the SE and the 8 Plus. 
So the 8 Plus, again, if you tap it, any first generation Touch ID scanner is slower than the Galaxy S8 Plus if you do get your finger correctly on the fingerprint scanner. But let's see how it matches up next to the second gen Touch ID phones. I have an iPhone 6S Plus. This can count for the iPhone 6S, the smaller one, if you will, for the fingerprint scanner, the same fingerprint scanner. And let's see which one performs better in terms of this one. Now this is second gen Touch ID versus Galaxy S8. And you can see S8 once again faster. So if you get your fingerprint correctly on the S8, it should be faster than the iPhone 6S Plus as well. Let's do this again. And you see the S8 Plus doesn't need a, you know, a physical press to get in. So with the iPhone 6S Plus, you can't just rest your finger on there. You actually have to physically press it to get the fingerprint scanner to open. Is it a big deal? Not really, but you can just rest your finger on the Galaxy S8 Plus, making it a faster fingerprint scanner. Let's go ahead and try now the iPhone 7 Plus here. And the iPhone 7 Plus, again, needs a little bit of a tap to get into the phone. You can see pretty fast there. But let's see what happens here. Boom, Galaxy S8 Plus. So the S8 Plus is faster than every single iPhone right now in terms of the fingerprint scanner. You've seen in this test it is faster, but you've also seen in this test that the Galaxy S8 Plus could be not as reliable as the fingerprint scanner due to the fact of the reach. So you're really going to have to train yourself to get the accurate press every time on the Galaxy S8 because sometimes it misses, like it just missed right there. So I do think Touch ID still reigns supreme as the more reliable fingerprint scanner that works consistently every time. You're going to have a misstep here and there on the Galaxy S8 Plus, but there is a solution to that. Add the same finger twice, register the same finger twice, and you should have more accuracy on your Galaxy S8 series. But I hope this video helps you out and to see how the difference is in the fingerprint scanner of the Galaxy S8 versus pretty much every iPhone you can buy right now. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button for me. Comment down below what you thought about this test, which one you thought is better. Do you not like the Galaxy S8 Plus? Do you want to see any videos on the Galaxy S8 Plus? I'd like to hear about that. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.